Welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to answer two questions. Why is my channel called Denise's Story? One of the answers is because I was diagnosed with fibroids. And when I found out, I was kind of bummed because I was like, what, fibroids? I got tumors? Cancer? What? But it's non-cancerous um, tumors, which grows within the uterus wall. And it's mostly common in African-American women. And when I did my research up on it, it's, I found out um, a couple of reasons from genetics. Another is because we get our hair processed, which are perms, at an early age and we continue on throughout our life. And that harsh chemical throws off our natural chemical imbalance. Uh, well, yeah, it, it throws us off, so we're, we're unbalanced. And, fibroids develop, which can have, on some women, heavy menstrual flow, painful menstrual flow, pain during intercourse, um, if they're not removed. So I had two that were the size of rice, and then like in a couple of months I went back, they were like the size of garbanzo beans. So, you know, that's, that's pretty big. So, I decided to go ahead and get the um, surgery done. So, she was able to remove one without me having a hysterectomy, which I'm still young and I didn't want to go through that. So, I had the one removed. And after that, she said, well, if I'm still having the heavy flow and the, and the um, pain during my menstrual cycle, that... I might have to get the hysterectomy. So by the grace of God <laughs> and prayers from everyone, it was the main problem and that was the one that she got. So right now I still have the other one and I've changed my eating. I started working out a little bit more and my menstrual flow isn't as heavy and it doesn't go as long as it did before. It used to go 14 days. Now it's back down to three. And it's not heavy. So, but I joined a, a study uh, for fibroids. And I went the whole one month. Just one month. And they texted me and told me that I was kicked out. <laughs> because my menstrual cycle isn't heavy anymore. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's a good thing because... I'm three days and it's back to normal so but <laughs> that was one and then the second one is because my daughter's in the military and she's my first baby and I am kind of sad that she is going to be deployed so in Hopefully you guys can go on this journey with me and kind of give me some encouragement and I can give you updates. Um, I wouldn't know where she is or anything, but I'll tell you what, I got an email from her. <laughs> That's about it. So right now she's underway and we email. Um, so, and if you follow me on Instagram, you can see some of her pictures. Um, follow me on Snapchat. You can see some of the pictures um, or some of the little videos that I post when I see her <laughs> when she's back in town. Um, so if you guys follow me, you guys will be on that journey with me so you know my story. And hopefully it would be a nice one and it would end well. <laughs> so stay with me and you guys will know my story because I have a story to tell my fibroids and my baby she's in the Navy <laughs> so, <laughs> but I'm proud of her so support our troops and God bless thank you